what's up guys welcome back to my channel when you see me carrying my bag and smiling like this you know that it's time for another travel vlog so welcome back to my channel so you can guess where your girl is going to but i left munich very early in the morning went to berlin and started my trip to my next location of exploration so you can guess where i was going to in the comment section and eventually i'm going to reveal where i was going to so stay tuned ber airport terminals one and two this train only stops at ber terminal one and two passengers to ber terminal five Please change to S-Bahn services from platforms 5 and 6. So I took off from the terminal 2 and I've never been here before so this is what it looks like. I actually got to find out that you could wear your bag yourself and just get your ticket which I think is really convenient and you could know, you know, you could skip the lines and just have an easier time out in the, in the airport. So... This was me walking to my gate to find out where my flight will be taken off from. I'm super excited about this new travel journey because it is a place I've always wanted to check out and visit. And it's somewhere that I don't think is really spoken about a lot. So I would like you guys to walk with me on this vlog and then tell me what you think about this country. It's revealed. Yay. But yeah, tell me what you think about this country. After we have, have actually explored, you know, everything. So, or what, tell me what you've heard about Tallinn, Estonia. Comment that in the comment section. And yeah, stay tuned. I hadn't eaten all day. And that was because I left Munich very early. I left Munich as early as... 2 a.m that's my house and then train station was the train was to leave by 4 12 a.m in the morning so i hadn't eaten and i had just one apple in my bag and i had to eat that and i had not slept so me i was just preparing myself to take off because once the air, the flight starts your sister is going to be sleeping so i slept throughout the flight really and it was just something i needed So my first impression about Tallinn, especially from the airport, I just saw that this airport is very small. And I hope I know I've been hearing about Tallinn and Estonia being very having very few people in their country, like a, a population of 1.3 million. But you know, when you're coming from a bigger city, you don't really know what to expect. You know, you can be thinking, "Oh, this is big, this is big," but or oh, "This is small, this is small," but you don't really know what to expect. So coming here. I see how small the airport was. I was already like, mm -hmm, okay, it's a really small country. But then I was really, really excited to explore as much as I could. So my aunt came to pick me up and we headed home. You can already imagine how tired I was leaving meaning by 2 a.m taking my trip all the way to berlin and then flying almost immediately so i was super super exhausted i got home and i just slept nothing the next day sunday next day we went to ikea so 
this is ikea in tallinn and it's very very big and apparently they have this eating area where people actually come out to eat every sunday so it's not like berlin where everything is shut down on sunday tallinn is a place where on sundays things are actually still ongoing so you take your cards come here pick up your cups your yeah your cups and if you want coffee if you want drinks and all that that's my cousin by the way so you can pick up your cups and just set up your tray your cutlery and then you proceed to the food area you pick whatever you want based on what you're feeling like and they serve you then you go straight to the counter to get to pay for your food so with the drinks you could try out all drinks that they have here and then you you can always come back for more even after you're done eating so the drinks are like bottomless mimosas <laughs> you can just keep drinking as much as you can take in and there's also like coffee there's tea and yeah just come and eat so this is me just trying out the many drinks to see what i would like and what i don't want i would not like time to find a location or a city area for the family and yes we eventually settled in to eat i got chips meatballs um pork i think that's pork and ketchup and it was really nice and yeah eventually we decided to explore ikea i've actually never been to an ikea store before this was my first time and it was actually really impressive just seeing how they could have set up a room or a space a parlor and i was told that if you if you were interested in that they could you could just buy the whole set like that and they would deliver it to your house i don't know if they'll set it up for you i doubt but yeah they'll deliver it to your house and you just need to settle in i know So after taking a long walk around Ikea, seeing everything I needed to see, we even got lost at some point. I decided, my auntie decided to get us some ice cream to cool off. So while my ice cream is cooking, I'll tell you a bit about my experience in Estonia so far. 
one thing I'm going to say is the fact that I have known Estonia to be a technically advanced country. They meet up to that is the expectation now. That is what they are. That is who they are. This guy, the technicality or the technology in this country, it's, they bust my brain. So much so that sometimes when I saw some things happen, I'm like, oh my goodness. Like, I became emotional. Like, mm -mm, this is so nice. So they are very technically advanced. They could do a lot of things with, um, um, online like voting registration for your trp um shopping of course and other good stuff you know things if you don't want to leave your house and you know remote work is very much encouraged here and it's just i just really like you know the, the thoughts of that and yeah it's very foresty and i see that they're very proud of how green they are country is which and they're very very sustainable um sustainability inclined they want to save the planet and ensure clean air and all that and there are still more things i'm exploring but so far so good with all i said would you visit estonia